Hello, today I would like to talk about women misrepresentation in media. And if we go throughout the history, you can mention that since the beginning of uh, newspapers, telegram, uh, it was in the hand of men and not women. And if they hire women by accident, it would be underpaid, underrated, she cannot take some tasks, she cannot uh, write about stuff. Maybe t they were considered taboo for women to talk about. Perhaps men who were empowered, they can inaugurate magazine, they can start a newspaper, they can begin in uh, any topic. And if we talk about Herman and Chomsky media filters, we can mention that uh, most of these filters in media were applied on women. Let's say, for example, um, if you have, if you speak about such topic, of you invited someone in your show, and the company, the broadcasting company, did not accept or allowed it, she might fire the TV host if she's a woman, mostly. For example, the Niz Rahmi Fakhri at LBC, when uh, a few years ago she was fired from the company, just because she spoke about a politician, and that politician used his power to fire her. And this is what happened, and she was not protected. For example, let's say Playboy. Playboy, they always, since the beginning, they used the idea of women, sexualizing women in the magazine, just to attract men, to make them read. The concept is what men likes. So what they have done, they start posting photos for women, Marley Monroe, she was the beginning, and then uh, they used to put sexual parts to increase their um, selling uh, more products, more like uh, magazines uh, for more people. And uh, there was competition after that with other magazines. So uh, they used to ma used women for male gaze. And uh, also if we take the recently, uh, we see um, television, TV shows, such in Lebanon you have a uh, Christina Sawaya show at OTV when she spoke about um, uh, you invite boys and girls and they play on the beach and they were all happy wearing bikinis and uh, just to attract more people and um, also in so on social media there is lots of censorship and lots of taboo and harassment against women. For example, uh, Labidi 2020, when he stated that uh, the level of, uh, in his study, the level of women uh, who were, uh, vi were victims of violence on social media in Libya after the, uh, the Libyan war, in 2014 and 2011, it was increasing against women and women journalists. And also in Lebanon, women, when they want to speak out, especially the journalists such as Meishi Dia, you have um, uh, Paula Yaoubian, she was also involved in politics. They were always trying to put them in a zone that they are uh, like, uh, they have bad behavior, they are not good women, they do not have ethics, they try to to uh, put propaganda on them. And because we live in a patriarchal society, most people, like, they have doubt and they always misjudge these women. And uh, they were always victims of um, warning, viola uh, violating their privacy, their lives. Uh, for example, Dima Saad, one of them, she was always, always under fire because of that and because she speak out. And Maria Malouf. And also, we have uh, Al Jadid when Ms. Mrs. Ghada Eid, the TV host, she also invited uh, a few years ago in 2005 a politician called uh, Ghassan Kanaan. And he was very furious and he tried everything to. F to to fight her just because she she asked him on her show about um, about uh, Rafi Hariri assassination as I remember the issue um, and because of that later she was fired she was under fire she was also publicly humiliated by the politician 
and by the police and Al Jadid did not protect her enough so she applied the filter against the flag and uh, most of them as I said Herman and Chomsky flags um, filters they were applied on women thank you so much for watching